The 96-year-old queen has been warned the decision to never publish the inquiry she paid for could reignite hostilities with the rebellious Meghan Markle on Prince Harry. Before the Duke and Duchess of Sussex made the sensational decision to quit the firm and move to California, Meghan was accused of bullying staff at the palace. The claims, which Meghan denies, prompted the Queen to launch an investigation which led to the palace improving the policies and procedures in its HR department, according to royal sources. But Australian royal expert Daniela Elsa said the Queen's decision to keep Stump was, in fact, a more loaded and potentially explosive move. Writing for news.com.au, she said, Outwardly this looks like the mature play on the part of the Queen here. Why stoke the flames and drag this particular business back into the spotlight? Better to tidy it away to preserve what is left of the frayed ties between London and Montecito. But whether intentionally or not, in keeping Stum about whatever conclusions the lawyers have come to, Her Majesty has in fact done her granddaughter in law a disservice and damned Meg. But what might at first look like Team Windsor sensibly tamping down a spark which could reignite hostilities with the rebellious duo is in fact a more loaded and potentially explosive move. The inquiry was carried out by an independent law firm, paid for by the Queen. The Sunday Times reports that the investigation is now being kept secret to protect those who took part and also to avoid further clashes between the Sussexes and the palace. But Ms. Elsa said the decision had in fact meant Meghan would be permanently barred from the chance to exonerate herself. She said, burying the investigation details would add to the miasma of rumor and speculation swirling. She added, what is clear is that the palace's decision this week means they have permanently barred Meghan from the chance to exonerate herself. In burying the report and then the world finding out about this secretive move, the palace has only added to the miasma of rumor and speculation swirling here. All of this only made more so given that this cloak of secrecy is, in part, reportedly driven by a desire to not inflame the Sussexes. Just what might it say that would supposedly rile them up so? Has this all simply been bungled by royal aides or has someone inside the firm been catching up on their Machiavelli reading list? Meghan and Harry return to the UK with their two children, Archie and Lilibet to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee earlier this month.